Welcome back everybody. It's time for another package unboxing. Today we have a really cool package that just came in that I'm very excited about. One of our fellow GoGo -Go collectors reached out to me here on the channel and then on Instagram. He wanted to get me involved with his obsession right now in the same kind of vein as GoGo's with the product that I had never heard about before, which would be Boglins. Boglins were first produced in the late 80s as like kind of this bigger hand puppet type thing of these weird looking mishmapped themed goblins. In the early 1990s, they released mini Boglins, which are the miniature plastic versions, kind of very similar to our GoGo's Crazy Bones here from the early 90s. They look really interesting and unique. They look like the molds have a lot of detail and really cool stuff with them. I haven't gotten any personally myself yet, although he uh, enticed me with them, that's for sure. I would say they're a little bit harder to find, but they're not too bad. They are out there like on eBay and such. In any case, he messaged me and he said, I wanna send you a box of goodies. I just wanna send it to you and hook you up with some Boglins so you can check them out. And that way, maybe you can get obsessed with these things too. And little tiny plastic miniature figures is one of my weaknesses. So, you know, I was like, yes, you can, you can definitely do that. I'll be happy to check out some Boglins on the channel. He also ended up showing me a ton of his Crazy Bone collection as well, which he has an absolute insane collection of a lot of rare and very unique items. He has an Instagram, Mulk's Collection, on Instagram. Go check him out, go follow him, check out all his cool Crazy Bone stuff or his Boglin stuff when he posts them. So I know he said that he threw in a few things in here. He, got, he gave me some Boglins that we're gonna check out. He gave me one other thing that I know about, which is a really cool Crazy Bone themed product and there might be some other stuff in here too, but I only really know about those two main things. So I'm just really excited to see if there's anything else in there and what else is in here. And I really want to see those freaking little goblin boggling guys. They look really unique. So thank you, Mulk, for sending me this package. I really appreciate it. You're such a nice guy. It's been a pleasure talking with you over the past three weeks and uh, let's check out these guys. All right, let's get it going. Should all be in this box. So let's open it up and see what we got in here. Again, thank you, man. This is such a, a really kind gift for you to give to me. Very generous of you. Okay, all right, all right. How am I doing this? How am I doing this? All right, first up, we've got some Draco Head product stuff. Looks like, ooh, a stick. Oh, look at that. We got a nice sticker in there. Let's open this up. Draco Head pamphlet material looks like, oh, yep, we got the game. Let's see what else. Okay, we've actually got, is this, which one? Okay, this is from the regular series. We got Gossip, Gizmo, all the classic ones, the whole little checklist. Ah, yes, this is from the second one, I believe, right? I believe it is the second series. Yes, it says right there, number two. That's really cool. I love the design of the second Draco Head series, and I definitely want to find some of these eventually. I haven't found actual packs yet, but the figures themselves are super cool and monster-like, so I definitely want to check those out eventually. What do we got here? We've also got a Wiki's Spider-Man sticker. Very cool. I just saw these on eBay too. They look really neat. But what is this guy? Whoa, what are you? This looks very unique. Let's check them out. A little like kind of plastic figurine. Hopefully maybe there's some stickers in here, something that describe what we're actually looking at for some of these. But look at that. That is pretty cool. He's like, he's kind of got like a bendy vibe which is interesting, but that's that's pretty neat. Look, he's giving out like kind of like a go-go stamp thing on his back, which it says 100 on it. So given the number, let's see what's on the bottom here. Made in China, and we've got more numbers and letters. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what that guy is. I'm gonna slide the box off and just start pulling out things individually here for us. Okay, looks like we got some more stickers in bags. So let's check out these. All right, first up, we've got some Series 1 stickers. Very nice. Just a few of them here. I got a Mosh, we got the Hazard, and I forget your name, but that's okay. What else is in here? Let's grab these. Oh, we got a checklist for Monica Gang, I believe. Let's see, how does this flip around? All right, it's just a simple checklist. Yeah, Monica Gang checklist. These are nice. I love how it's kind of black and white. You can kind of almost color them in yourself, honestly. So we got a bunch of those, those are neat. All right, I do see all the Boglins here in this bubble wrap, but we're gonna keep that to the side for a second because I kind of want to see what else is going on in here. Let's check out, what is this? Okay, we got a little figure it looks like. Let's take him out. Interesting, what? Oh, that's the back, okay. <laughs> oh, this is little Tokyo. Yes, I've been eyeing 
many lots on eBay right now of little little Tokyos or little Japs, but I think little Tokyos is probably the more uh, appropriate thing. This is the Japan Crazy Bone little line that they came up with. And these guys look awesome. They look so cool. I've never seen the backs before. That is really interesting. It looks like they're screws. It's weird. But I have uh, passed up a few lots over the last couple weeks because uh, I just am trying to save some money. But these guys are so dope. So that's really cool. This is the first one from the little Tokyos that I've gotten. So that is an awesome little figure to have and add to the collection. I'm seeing some interesting pins, but we're that it's Boglin related. So we also got a, it looks like, oh, this is a poster for Megatrip. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's sick. I don't have a poster for Megatrip yet. It's got a whole comic in here too. It's got a cutout. Oh man, it looks familiar. I think they included this um, possibly in like more of the, the booklet or something, I want to say, but wow, sticker checklist for Mega Trip, dude. That is fantastic. The golden Mega Trips, yeah, let's go. That's so sweet. This is awesome looking. Oh, I don't have, yeah, this is awesome. I love it. I gotta open up more, uh, more Mega Trips soon. I do have some more packs left of Mega Trip, but, uh, you know, we've been doing the Series 4, which, you know, if you haven't seen the Series 4 video from Sunday, go check that out. It was a ton of fun, and uh, yeah, I love Series 4, so I had a blast with that one, so go check that one out. But we've been opening up a lot, so it's been, uh, you know, we gotta make our way back to the Mega Trip series at some point. Okay, so we got, like, a whole different, like, a whole print-off of all the information about Boglins. There's a bunch of different categories for, like, the little tribes that they come in. So you'll have clumsies, freaks, greedies, jokers, rude dudes, tough guys. There's a bunch of different like versions, things like that. Oh, a little sneak peek of what's going on here. All right, all right. I'll probably be flipping back through this, but perfect. This is exactly what I needed to know more information about these guys. So thank you for including this. That's awesome. There's also a way to play Boglins as well. Like there's a game involved. I don't know how to do that yet. Let's get out this. This is the other thing that I knew was gonna be coming in the package. It's uh, Monica's Gang. Go Go's Crazy Bones official from Panini. These guys are really unique, really cool. Got this cartoon like Charlie Brown vibe and they're really neat. And again, I, I really wanna get these guys eventually, but he actually gave me just an old little checklist booklet for them, which was really nice. He, he didn't need it or want it. So he gave it over to me, which was really sweet. So it's got all the information. This is just your typical like, you know, kind of checklist. Stickers are already in it a little bit. It's a little bit used, which I'm okay with, that's fine. I don't have to collect the stickers now. Like, look at that, he's got all the stickers in here. That's fantastic. Okay, all right, some of the pages are falling out a little bit, but look at all the designs of these guys. This is one I definitely wanna look at opening up in the future too, because I find them very unique. Look at the little Frankenstein, that one's great. Where's the elephant? I really like the elephant. You've probably seen him on some of the, oh, there's a mummy. That's fantastic. Ah, the elephants. That one's cool. Really like that guy. Oh, they even got a cat and like a ghost thing. Oh, there's another elephant too and like a skull. Ah, yeah. Kind of such a unique Go-Go's product with these guys. Really cool. Oh, I love that little artwork on the back. That's very nice. Oh, and we got some more Series 1. Oh, I don't have this product. This is an organizer from Superstars. It's a little binder, like mini binder. I'm gonna keep it sealed for now. I don't know if I wanna open this one yet because it's such a unique, cool product. But look at this. You actually have like a little zipper pack here. Oh, it's got series one, two, three, four. Yo, that's cool. I'd forgotten about this product too. This is a very unique product. Very awesome. And we just did some superstar videos too. So this is on theme for what we've been doing on the channel as well. Let's get these pins out before we look at the actual Boglin figures. You can kind of get what the vibe is here for these guys. Now these are actual like, pins for the more like hand puppet size. I believe these are newer too. These come from the redo because they redid the hand puppets uh, in recent years here as more designer toys. But look at this. These are very, these are nice looking pins actually. That's great. Look at that. Dark Lord Bloken and Dark Lord Bagabones are our two guys here. Really neat. Cool little pins as extra little merch for the Boglins line. And I love the redesign of the Nice little logo here for them. It looks really, it's a nice little little font and everything. I like it. All right, that's it from the box. So now we can get out the actual Boglins themselves. Oh, these guys are hefty. These are way heftier than I thought they would be. Oh my gosh, these guys got like, uh, 
new gen size, actually bigger than new gen size. So let's see these. Okay, they are that kind of rubbery thing, kind of like that guy. So let's see this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Some really weird, unique detail on this one. Is that a sword? He's got like a broken sword on him. And I can't tell if he's supposed to be like, he's got like, he looks like more like a monkey face on this one, but he's got to be some kind of ninja or something. Man, these would sit nice on a shelf if you ask me. What? Okay, how am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, it is. Oh, he's smashing an ice cream cone on his freaking face. That is funny. Look at the texture on them though. It's a really nice like, feel these guys got. A little closer view. It looks like this one broke off an ear or something. This one's a little bit scuffed up. They can't all be perfect, especially when you're dealing with these kind of rubber type guys, like the end and stuff that could break off really easily if they're not taken care of properly. But look at this one, really unique. He's carrying like an eye or something, I'm guessing. Let's look at another one. This one is puking, holding his side and puking. He actually stands up from his puke and tail. That is funny. Holy cow. But look at the, like, the face design stuff. It's so interesting. Oh, it looks like we have another one of this dude, this little sword wielding monkey face looking guy. Goblin, I guess. He can't call him a monkey. It just resembles a monkey in a little bit. Here's another one. This one's holding like a mace and he's got something in his mouth. I don't know what it is. It almost looks like he might have scuba gear on, but I know he doesn't. Interesting. I love the texture though. This is such a really cool like feel. Again, the weight of these guys is nice. Here's one lifting a dumbbell or a barbell, something like that. Kind of like our strongman boggling dude. And he sits like upright. You have to like look straight down and him to see his face. Here's a little bit of a smaller one. He's got his head stuck in a toilet, it would appear. I kind of like the little bit smaller version of this guy. Very nice. Very unique that they all kind of come in different shapes and sizes. All right, how are we looking at you? You are, <laughs> he's partying out. All right, he's grogging it up. He's just going ham. He's, a, he's on a bender right now or something, man, pouring in all the stuff into his little flask thing. That's funny. Cool purple color. The, I've seen this one before for my research. He's a funny one. Another one that has like just a cone stuck in his head. Is this, are we dealing with like kind of the same figure? Let's see. Is this like two different versions of the same one? It looks, yeah, it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar. So maybe they did do a couple different sizes of these mini Boglins. You had like your bigger, more medium size, I guess. And then you had like your small size. I wouldn't say large or anything because the large ones are like the hand puppet ones. We've got our little like <laughs> freaking caveman guy over here. He's awesome. That's a good one right there. Liking that. Look at, look at, the, that's a nice blue too. That's a real, oh, his skin's a little bit more poppy as well. I like it. Another one of these blues. Let's check out him. He's got an arrow through the head. These goofy freaking faces on these guys is what always cracks me up. Again, skin is a little bit textured differently. You can see exactly where they placed all those textures. It's pretty cool. You can tell, you can feel the handmadeness on these guys, which I like, especially when they're done well, which these guys are done really well. I feel like this guy, wow. Okay, can I show that on YouTube? That guy's cutting off his freaking tongue. Yo, that's intense. Holy cow, man, chill out. All right, we got one more of these like medium size, another duplicate of this guy, which whatever he's doing. Oh, he's eating pasta. He's eating freaking pasta. That's a fork with pasta on it. And he's slurping it into his mouth. Okay, all right, I get it now. This guy is a little bit smaller again. He looks kind of like a fish on this one, right? Kind of has that fish thing, but he's holding an ax. I like him a lot. He's a good one. I really dig that. Look at that face. Holy cow. That face is so like, and it does. It has like scales. It's like a fish goblin. Let's grab another booger one. I've seen you before online. He's just got a huge snage and boogers dripping out of it, but a goofy little face. I like this face work a lot too on this one. It's, it's goofy, but it works appropriately for the snot bubble he's just blown out of his nose all right let's see what do we got here pop oh oh this is a mini version of our little partying grog man there we go all right where's our grog man here all right let's check that out the big version the little version the little version actually has pop written on the flask thing uh, but not on the big one. So that's unique. Okay. And I like this orange. This is a sharp, like neon orange. We've got one more that he included here. Let's see what he's all about. He's like melting into the ground. Did he pour something on himself? What exploded in his hand? I don't know what's in his hand. It's, you know, 
standing upright, and he's got a bunch of crap on his head. So <laughs> I'll let your imagination. Bruh. But I do kind of like the look that he's just like falling into the floor, just melting kind of. I'll bring out this page really quick too, because we've got Gurg, which we got, Glurp, all these different ones. There's Grohl, where he's eating the spaghetti. What other ones do we get here? Blurp, Blurp is the snot one. Is that the fish one? I don't know, but all the different kind of like checklists of the different versions you can get and find with these little blister packs that they would give out or sell, I guess. Here's one more list. Let's see if we, this one's Tong, where he's cutting off his tongue, although he's not quite close enough to cutting off his tongue in that one. Trub and Trung. Now, I believe these are all from like France or something like that. Oh, there's he, there he is. There he's cutting off his tongue, right? Something, I don't know. So a lot of these are in like different languages. You'll have to get the Google Translate out for some of these guys. There's Clang with the sword, very nice. Club, we got the club guy. And then who else we got? This one's an interesting one. These guys are all making goofy faces. Oh, we got Spew, Barfin Boy over here. Dang, this is just awesome. What a cool lot. You know, I'm gonna resist trying to get addicted to the Boglin guys as well because uh, I just can't help myself with these mini fig guys, so. But thank you again to Moke's Collection. Again, here's his Instagram. Go check him out. That was very, very kind of you to share some of your collection here with me and just give me some of this stuff. It was very kind of you. So again, thank you very much for that. That's gonna do it though. If you enjoyed the unique package opening here like this and wanna see more Crazy Bone content, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video. We've got a bunch more content coming at you very soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. We will see you guys in the next video.